In this question, we have a 1.5 kilogram trolley, which is stationary at A, and it's going to move down a frictionless track. Okay, so here it is again. And then at the bottom of the slope, or the, 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 yeah, the slope, it's going to combine or it's going to crash into that 2 kilogram object. So they sell it, they tell us use the principle of conservation of mechanical energy to calculate the speed of the 1.5 kilogram trolley at point P. So what I want you guys to become very comfortable with is that because we have a curved surface, you cannot use this formula. Even if you tried to use this formula, it wouldn't work. The reason is, let me quickly show you. If you had to do a free body diagram on this object, there would be gravity parallel. Oh, there's no friction. Okay, so I'll leave that. Normal force. And then perpendicular gravity. Okay. Now, to calculate gravity parallel, you would use this formula, mg sin theta. But now the big question is, what is theta? Because as the trolley goes down the slope, the angle of the slope changes. And so even if you wanted to use this formula, it doesn't work. And so we rather use the conservation of mechanical energy formula, which is pretty much just the WNC, which is that formula over there. Now, the WNC is the work of all the non-conservative forces. And I've explained this in previous videos, that your non-conservative forces are things like friction and applied forces. Gravity is not a non-conservative force. So gravity does not get included inside there. So because we're on a frictionless track, there's no friction and there's no applied force. So for WNC, you would say zero. So you're going to say zero is equal to delta EK. Now remember that delta EK is EK final minus EK initial plus delta EP, which is EP final minus EP initial. Now remember the formulas for EK are a half mv squared and for ep mgh and so to go for all of this in now you're going to have a half now the mass is 1.5 the final velocity we don't know the initial velocity is uh, zero because they told us that it starts it was stationary plus now uh, mgh so the mass is 1.5 gravity 9.8 now the height the final height is 0 because it's back at the ground level so you could say 0 minus 1.5 now your initial height is 2 meters notice how we don't need to use any angles how awesome is that guys and so now we can go ahead and simplify so I'm gonna say 0 is equal to um, 0 0.75 v squared because that's a half of 1.5 minus 0 plus 0 minus 29.4 and so now we can take the 29.4 over to the left and then divide by 0 0.75 and that gives us 39.2 and then remember to square root and so your final answer is 6.26 .6 meters per second um, and then you don't have to say down the slope or anything like that they just said calculate the speed and so speed is uh, it's a scalar. And so, yes, we're calling it the velocity, but it's the same thing in this type of scenario. So, guys, there we go. That is how we would handle a situation like that.